Welcome to the Upbound Cloud Community Preview from the creators of Rook and Crossplane. The Upbound Cloud Community Preview is the fastest way to get started with the open source Crossplane project using free, time-limited environments for early evaluation. Upbound quickly gives you an enterprise control plane that layers on top your existing infrastructure and cloud services, giving you all the tools you need to build your own internal cloud platform the same way industry leaders build theirs. Upbound and Crossplane make it easy to define, compose, and publish your own infrastructure APIs that encapsulate policy guardrails and automation, so it's easy for teams to consume the infrastructure they need, conform to best practices and policies, and deliver applications faster. Let's get started. Upbound Cloud supports personal accounts with access to environments, workspaces, and repositories. Each environment provides a dedicated cross-plane instance with a custom infrastructure API for your internal cloud platform. Multiple workspaces can be added to an environment, so app teams can self-service from the internal infrastructure APIs you create in each environment. Repositories allow you to publish your own packages to the registry for your teams to use privately or to publicly share your provider's stacks and applications with others. Upbound Cloud also supports organizations which support users, teams, and robots. Users can be owners or members of the organization. Teams can be structured however you like with role-based access control across environments, workspaces, and repositories. Robot accounts can be used from CI CD pipelines and GitOps workflows. To get started, let's create a dev environment that will provision a hosted cross-plane instance with fully managed backups, HA, and security handled for you. Once the environment's created, we'll be able to install packages from the registry into our environment, including providers to add cloud service primitives to your control plane, and stacks to publish infrastructure abstractions to your internal API for apps to use. The Upbound registry is the free community library for all things cross-plane. It lets you discover, install, and publish the resources you need for your next cross-plane project. Providers add cloud service primitives to the control plane in an environment. Stacks configure an environment to provide your infrastructure abstractions with policy guardrails for applications to use. And the applications are installed into workspaces and can easily consume the infrastructure they need through the custom infrastructure APIs in an environment. Today we'll be using the GCP provider to add primitive API types to the control plane in our environment for use directly um, and to compose into our custom infrastructure APIs that will be included with the sample stack. Here we can see all the primitive API types included with the GCP provider, including databases, caches, and storage buckets. If we pop back over to our environment, we can see that it's ready to deploy. Clicking through prompts to install our first provider. So we'll browse the registry for the GCP provider that we're gonna be installing. And we can go ahead and get that from the CLI or through the GUI. We'll install that into our dev environment. Installing this GCP provider is gonna add cloud service primitives to the control plane for this environment. Uh, that can be used directly or composed into our custom infrastructure APIs for teams to use. And once this provider has been installed, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and install the GCP sample stack that adds some sample infrastructure abstractions that our WordPress application will use. Okay, so now that the provider is installed, we're gonna go ahead and browse to install the GCP sample stack. So we're gonna go ahead and install that through the GUI into our dev environment. Installing the GCP sample stack will add infrastructure resources 
to our dev environment, including networks, subnets, and managed service connectivity resources, plus sample infrastructure abstractions for MySQL, PostgreSQL, and Redis. These infrastructure abstractions will be used to deploy our containerized WordPress onto a GKE target cluster and provision a MySQL instance for the WordPress application. Once this is installed, we'll provision center with this configure step that allows us to customize our infrastructure abstractions for use in the environment. Here we can see that it's prompting us um, for a name that we're going to want to be unique uh, because we're using a shared GCP project. So we're going to call this May 27 Acme Corp dev. And the project that we're using is the cross plane playground. And we're going to be installing this into OS2. Uh, and then it's giving us this, this um, curl bash here that we can use to generate our provider secret. And so this is going to go ahead and generate a service account and then enable the cloud services on all of these um, APIs for containers and SQL admin and Redis and so forth. And then go ahead and grant permissions. And then once that's been done, um, we'll go ahead and get our um, access key. And that access key we can just drop right in here and then create the new instance. And so this will go ahead and create the, um, the GCP sample stack instance here and all the associated resources that we can see here in the resource console. Um, and this is gonna include infrastructure resources like networking and security, including the managed service connection, as well as infrastructure abstractions for um, Cloud SQL instances or MySQL for Postgres, um, as well as uh, Kubernetes clusters, Redis caches, and so forth. So while this will take a few minutes for all the core infrastructure to be fully provisioned, um, one of the beautiful things about continuous reconciliation and eventually consistent systems is that you can apply your desired state before all the resources are ready and upbound and crossplane will keep trying until it's achieved. So we can deploy our app in parallel without having to wait. Uh, so next we're going to create a workspace and um, deploy our application to that. Okay, so we have our workspace created. And so now we're going to go ahead and install an application into that workspace by browsing the registry. Um, we'll pick the one that's the official version from Crossplane and then go ahead and install that through the GUI into Dev Workspace 1. So once this is installed, it'll present us with another configure step to customize the installation of uh, this app into the workspace and then go ahead and create a Word, WordPress instance. And so installing this, this WordPress application is gonna add CRDs that'll allow us to, to manage our application um, through the control plane. Uh, here, we're just gonna call this uh, my cool app. And then we have the option to provision a new cluster use existing target cluster. And so let's go ahead and provision a new cluster. So this has created a WordPress instance uh, in our workspace console. And we can see that it then goes and creates additional resources to model the application as well as define um, instances of the Kubernetes cluster and MySQL instance that it needs. And so this is effectively issuing a resource requirement for a cluster and a MySQL instance. And then if we go and take a look at our infrastructure environment, um, we can see that new uh, resources have been created for the database itself. And we can go ahead and take a look at that. Like all Kubernetes resources, it's gonna have a spec um, that basically has a claim in class ref that we can see that um, this is the, the claim that was created um, to basically request this requirement. And then down here, the um, status is ready false and the resource is still being created. So similarly, we have a, a GKE cluster that's been created to deploy our WordPress to. 
And then if we take a look down here, we can see that it's also um, being created. So while that's being created, we can uh, take a look at some additional things um, like repositories. Repositories let you um, publish your own uh, private or public packages um, into the registry. And you can see the version history um, that's been published, as well as uh, these commands to push your own uh, new versions um, to each repo. And so if you check out the docs, uh, it has a lot of great information on how to uh, publish and package your applications um, and get going with this uh, today. So users um, can be uh, added to the organization with an email and then user is an owner or a member. And so we have a handful of users here. Uh, you can also create teams that um, you know, basically have the members that you would like and the roles that um, you would like to give them, either a member or an owner. And then you can also add robot accounts to a team and then grant permissions on that, um, whether it be for um, an environment and workspace or for the repositories. Um, so here I can say I want to make uh, this uh, team basically a member on dev. They can have view permissions and then they'll be like admin for the workspace itself. So that's how permissions are created. Um, and then robot accounts uh, are the last thing that we can look at. And this basically just lets you hook up um, GitOps workflows and traditional you know, CI CD pipelines to deploy directly to your environments and workspaces um, using these robot tokens. Um, you can also use these for publishing from CI pipelines um, you know, the packages to the registry. Um, and so that works out really great. So the other thing that we we'll want to take a look at here, uh, if we just pop back over to our environment, so we can check in on whether or not the uh, database is ready and it is still being created. So one of the cool things that we can also do with Upbound Cloud is we can connect to our environment. Um, and so if we go ahead and um, bring our console window over here, oops, and then go ahead and um, configure our environment with these connection commands. We'll be able to take a look at what's uh, going on from cube control. And then you get this access token. Uh, I'm just going to pop over here and um, create a new token. I'll be deleting this token shortly. <laughs> and then we can just go ahead and add that here to the end. And then if I do a cube control get CRDs, it's going to go ahead and show me all of the um, API types that are available that I can query on. So um, the other nice thing that Upbound provides is registry documentation. So we're going to take a quick look at the WordPress um, quick start guide, which has a lot of great info on um, doing everything from the command line. So we've already gone and, and basically configured GCP. We've installed the package and um, basically got our credentials created, but you can create your own GCP account key file here with the appropriate commands and then generate a secret and then use that to configure your um, GCP sample stack all through the command line. And then um, we installed the WordPress application and we configured it uh, with a WordPress instance, which you can see here. And then we effectively applied that app configuration. And so now we can come in and get um, the WordPress instance back and we can see that it's there. Um, similarly, we can go ahead and get our Kubernetes cluster. And then just go ahead and take a look at our resource. So the managed claim is waiting for the resource to become bindable. And that's 
the same status that we got from the UI. So we basically can see the same thing via the CLI as we can in the UI. Um, and so while that's basically um, still wrapping up, we can go ahead and take a look at the additional commands that we can run to get um, the status on the underlying resource. And so if we basically do a query on um, group kind and name and pull out the appropriate things, um, that'll go ahead and execute. Um, we can also just retrieve the, uh, here we go, uh, resources available ready for use. So that's for the MySQL instance. So I think that our binding state should be uh, bound. So if we do a key control get, um, uh, yep, that's, that's what we just did. So we basically have that now. Um, and then we can go ahead and get our um, Kubernetes application resources. It's going to give us our load balancer IP here. So if we pop back to upbound cloud and then take a look at our Acme environment, everything should be provisioned there. And then if we go back to the application, we can see that we have the service resource. If we view that, it's going to be exactly the same as what we just saw in the CLI with this. P. Go ahead and drop that in. Got a little aggressive on the copy paste there. Try this one more time. There we can see that our WordPress is up and running. So we're able to provision a um, complete environment and then deploy a WordPress using our infrastructure abstractions that we added with our GCP sample stack. And now we can go and tear everything down um, by deleting the WordPress instance. That'll go ahead and start deleting all the contained resources, um, including um, you know, our deployment, our service, our namespace. Um, it's deleting these in order so that um, you know, all of the constituent cloud resources that are created when you know, a Kubernetes service is created, um, whether it be like an ELB or firewall rules, security groups, and so forth, um, everything gets deleted cleanly. And then um, likewise, if we go over to our environment, um, we can go and then delete the uh, GCP sample stack instance. And then that will go and start deleting all the contained resources here as well. Um, deleting all of our infrastructure abstractions, um, deleting our networks, subnets, and managed service connections. All right, so that'll wrap up here in just a minute. But with Upbound Cloud Community Preview, you get the fastest way to get started with the open source cross plane project and build an enterprise control plane that layers on top of your existing infrastructure, giving you all the tools you need to build your own internal cloud platform. Upbound Cloud and cross plane make it easy to define, compose, and publish your own infrastructure APIs that encapsulate policy guardrails and automation. So it's easy for teams to consume the infrastructure they need, conform to best practices and policies, and deliver applications faster. Give Upbound Cloud Community Preview a try using free time-limited environments for early evaluation. Check out the docs for a guided tour and let us know what you think. Thanks.